Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this zigzag middle part with this hair from You Nice Hair. 26 inches of goodness. Um, it's really nice hair. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that now. Um, so yeah, go ahead and keep watching and see how I got this look. Today's hair is from Unice Hair, Unice, Unice, you, you know what I'm talking about, you feel me? Um, all the specifics will be in the description box, but this is a 13 by 6 um, I'm not sure if it's HDR transparent, but it looks really nice, the lace, um, but for sure it will be in the description box, all the details. Um, and then it is a 26 inch shirt. After I go ahead and spray my even tinted lace spray, I today I responded to comments saying what the shade was, and I said medium light warm brown or something stupid like that the shade is light warm brown and this is what it looks like so i just uploaded um the arrogant hay inspired baby hairs and i think i'm gonna start doing that from now on i really liked the way my hair looked it was really nice um again like i've said in my previous videos i've been plucking a little differently and i think it looks a lot more natural um i think um i know the difference between a good looking wig and like a wig that looks like your hair you know like there's good wigs and then there's wigs that look like your hair and my goal now these days is to make it look like my hair like my hairline like it could be mine you feel me and so i've been going for like a more natural type of hairline if you guys can see um and i have been over bleaching my knots a little bit and i just feel like that gives it just like a nice really great really recommend over bleaching your knots i remember i really remember back when i had first had my first frontal and they were like oh my god just please don't push through the bleach at all it was like a, it was like a really stressed thing back in the day um back in my day you feel me but now um totally recommend you over bleach your knots and pushing it through just a little bit not like intentionally but just like sloppily putting the bleach on but um i don't know when this video will go, go up so i just recently did a the plucking and bleaching tutorial and um the bleaching is what i'm really going with now just leaving it on for a really long time and letting it do its job and when that happens it just looks so good so enough to chat we're going to start installing my lace up like how i usually do and i'm just going to go ahead and um razor off the excess lace off camera and um well actually first no i'm lying girl we finna cut off these ear tabs i did that the last install i would like the, the order so we're going to keep going with Yeah, it's slightly off center, but it's okay because today we're doing a zigzag part. Very excited to do it. Totally recommend over bleaching your knots, but okay. So we're gonna start raising off our lace, and you know the drill. We're gonna cut into three sections, which will make it ultimately four sections. Or we're gonna cut three slits, which will ultimately make it four sections. And then we're gonna razor off in a zigzag motion with a newer eyebrow razor. Okay, so now our lace is razored off. We can go ahead and push our wig a little back. You know, push that push that wig on back. And go ahead and start doing our layer of bold hold. I got a new bottle of bold hold. Um, where this not over here. In preparation to lay my lace, I have a wet napkin. And what I like to do with this wet napkin is I like to use another old razor and smooth my um, glue out like that. I have several pieces of hair stuck to my glue right now. And once I'm done um, smoothing it out, I'll go ahead and wipe it down with this wet napkin.
Okay, so our lace is down and she looks pretty decent. Nothing, nothing to call home about this wrist. This, always the front top part looks always amazing. It never fails. It always looks good. Um, but really quick before you know, I do my usual elastic band that I lost and just now found. Um, before I tie that on, I'm going to be doing a zigzag part. So what I want to do really quickly is just go ahead and try to at least do the front portion of the zigzags so while um my scarf is on um or my elastic band is on sorry i can um have this already at least the front part i can keep moving it's gonna make sense it's gonna make sense i can't explain myself because you feel me what y'all you, gonna see i don't want too many you know it's supposed to be like a natural type look or for the baby hairs at least so um, I'm just putting them down like this so I can make sure that it's not too many being pulled out. Yeah, I'm not editing this out either. I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to keep talking while I put on this elastic band. Because last time I said I wasn't going to edit it out, when I did this part and I talked, I mentioned the elastic band. I was like, me, me, me. I'm not, I need a, uh, there it is. I was like, I'm still talking. I was like, it never takes boop boop. It always takes so long when you throw on this elastic band. But why the one time I was like, I'm going to leave this in, it, it literally happened the first time. It never happens like this. I was supposed to prove a point, but just now I didn't prove the point because it, it happened pretty fast. So now we can fix our zigzag part. We're just going to go ahead and I have this Easy Edges edge control stick that I'm going to be using to make sure everything stays in place. Um, this first part did it really nicely by itself, but I'm going to go ahead and throw some on anyway. And then I'm going to make sure that everything is really precise. And then once I get my part together, I'm going to go ahead and hot comb it to where it need to be. Okay, I think that's flat enough, and this is what my part looks like. I will be adding some concealer to my part, even though, like, these knots are so, are bleached to, like, perfection. Like, I have no issues with how the part looks, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be fixing this front part when I take my elastic band off, which I'm doing right now, but, um, yeah, I will be adding some concealer to my part, just make sure everything is just bold and stands out a little bit, and my hair looks great. <laughs> my hair looks great. There we go, there, there's the, the final. My hair looks good. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna fix this um, front line and then after that we'll get to move into the baby hair. So here's the mousse I'm using. I'm using Lot of Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And I'm gonna apply it to my hand first because I just don't trust myself. I'm gonna drop it on there and get to moving with my edge brush. Yes, yeah, look for that. I'm going back to do maybe here how the way I usually do it because that was too much for me. Okay, so I finished my baby hair and I have a question. If you do you guys want me to to leave my baby hair in? Like I don't know. I feel like I do the same shit. But if y'all care about it and y'all wanna see it, like I'll leave it in there for y'all. I came to a conclusion. My the mousse that worked last time just the bottle stopped working. I got this fuck ass mousse. I don't really like it. Um but it's doing a job for my sideburns at least. I think I really like mousse on my sideburns now. My what? Who? What? My sideburns? Who? Who am I? My sideburns now because when they dry they get like big and they, they not get big but they like dry up and they stay in that position. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some concealer to my parts. So you know when people go like this and it looks like so good and shiny 
and like nothing's wrong with it dead ass that's how it looks on camera and that's how it looks in real life as i was flat ironing the hair it just was so it was it was just so beautiful and i also suck because um i left a lot of conditioner in the hair well not a lot but like too much conditioner in the hair by accident so it's a little way down but other than that it's so nice it's time for me to go. Um, all the information on this hair will be in the description box. One last look at the part. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. I'm so in love.